Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. Hey, this is um, kind of a more in-depth bit of information about how these are generated. So, a couple of years ago, I gave a review on this Epson printer. It's a thermal printer. It's a TM-T20II thermal printer. So what it runs on is a uh, roll of paper, basically a receipt paper. It's 80 millimeters wide by quite a bit of length, and it trims it off every time it runs. And the thermal head, anywhere it heats up, shows black lettering, and if it remains cool, it remains white. So the only consumable is a roll of paper. It's kind of a neat concept. It's really cool for this type of thing. And uh, that brings me to some uh, comments about uh, how this is produced. So a lot of people asked about this weather report, which comes out at 6 a.m. every morning and when I was filming the video last time one of these popped out it was kind of ironic that it came out there and so I wanted to kind of just go over a real quick workflow process this is a PHP written text file that comes from IFTTT it drops into my Dropbox account and then my Linux system runs that PHP code and the PHP code executes commands where it sees the word showers, puts clouds in place, and the temperatures here will control these thermometers that gives them a little bit higher or lower values on there. And then basically formats this for escape POS command. This is a complicated task, but uh, it's doable. It's hard for me to document it. A lot of people asked about it. What I wanted to do was create something that's a little bit easier to set up and it gives you a lot more control over formatting. So this is a uh, weather report for tomorrow that comes out at 4.30 p.m. And it just shows, you know, real simple. It's a proof of concept, date, what's the condition for tomorrow, high and low temperatures. So that is a markdown file that is converted to a PDF and then eventually it prints. So markdown, I have an intermediate process and I'll explain that a little bit later. So. What I have here is my iPhone, and I'm going to transfer some uh, information for this process into my Dropbox account where this folder is live. So I went from a complete folder, I'm going to move it into my print folder. So that is the weather report. So if we look at it closely here, you'll see that it shows the date. There's a second formatted area, which is the conditions, and then a table. So you have header one, header two, table. Real simple. You can see what it looks like down there. Header one, header two, table. All right, so let's go back. I'll go into my completed folder, and I'll give you a presentation. called the Epson workflow. I'll take that and move it to markdown print. Move. Okay. So there it is. So that was a markdown file that was converted. So it prints over here. Um, basically it's IFTTT sends a weather report in markdown format to Dropbox. Dropbox synchronizes it to all my computers. In fact, down the hall in my house, I can hear some of my other computers pinging at me because of the files notifications. There's a Linux server just over here on the table, which has a cron process that executes a script. And I'm using Pandoc, Pandoc to convert markdown to an HTML file. And the reason why I wanted an HTML file is eventually, I'm going to use cascading style sheets to format this any way I want to. So it goes into an HTML file. Then I'm using HTML doc to convert that HTML file to a PDF. I had a little bit more control over this process, so that's why I select, elected to do that. It's a 79.5 millimeter by 279 millimeter PDF. Now you notice this right here, that same process is not 297 millimeters long. What happens is this printer has a cutoff utility and when it senses white space, it stops. So that's really cool. It saves a lot of paper. So I can make this thing as long as I want it to. And if it's a really long document, 
I'll get something that's uh, rolls of paper coming out of here. So anyways, there's an LP command, sends it to the Epson printer, and then there's some cleanup scripts to move everything to the completed folders, and then my Epson printer prints out that report or document or whatever it is that I want to print. So I'm going to take this and um, do one more thing. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to move the documentation that I'm going to put up on the, uh, the notes on this video. Here it goes. This is a rather large one here. <laughs> All right. So anyways, I'll have this up online so you can review it. This is the documentation that everybody's been asking about, and it is in Markdown. And when you go online to see this, this will be on a WordPress site, because WordPress likes to use Markdown. So anyways, it just tells you some of the things that are going on. It says, you know, some examples. I have some code examples. HTML to PDF, for example. The command that's sending it to the printer. And then the automation. So I have a script for automation, the cron tab, file names, how to get it all set up, and most important, enjoy. Okay, hope you uh, all enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Look out for new videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.